Healthy You, sponsored by OrthoCincy. Virtual learning and office work during this pandemic now taking its toll on some people's joints. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares how to ease the ache from what's now referred to as COVID risks. Hey there, hello to you. It is not the secondary side effect we expected when it comes to this pandemic, but orthopedic specialists at OrthoCincy say so many of us this past year have had to use keyboards and computer technology. It's now showing up in our wrists, our hands and our elbows. And I'm at the front desk, so I'm and I'm I'm constantly, you know, answer the phone and typing on the keyboard. That's what I do all day. Whether you're back in the office or are still at your computer at home, a few changes in your setup may come in handy if you're feeling what's now referred to as COVID risks. The biggest thing for a lot of people is not always is it what you're doing. It's not your activity. It's the how you're doing it. Whitney Kiambo specializes in hand therapy. She says COVID wrist or hand or elbow is a common description for numbness, tingling or pain in those areas that can be often eased by hand and wrist stretching. It really feels good to like stretch those muscles. When people say they have a real pain in the wrist, Whitney asks. Can they come into a full fist? Can they make a flat fist? Can they move their thumbs around? All those types of things are good things to kind of loosen the hands so you don't get stiff in prolonged positions throughout the day. She also has sort of a toolbox. All the items you see here available commonly in office supply or sporting goods stores. They help force your wrists and hands into better positioning to ease the aftermath of too much typing or writing. Not having to come in as tight and being able to lighten up your grip for, for writing can make a huge difference. Whitney also says watch how you sit if your hands and wrists tingle throughout the day when we're rounded shoulders and we're forward head and we're looking down, that can make more, um, more intense aggravation on the hands. Whereas as we can get things up, then we can actually take some of the, the kind of weight off of things, yes. Now she reminds us if tingling or numbness continues, even after you make these modifications, make sure that you see an orthopedic or hand specialist. If you'd like to do that, you can go to local12.com, click on Ortho Cincy Solutions. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus, now back to you.